The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the uh, April 22nd. That's right. It's the magical Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. How about we have an extraordinary one? And of course, the easiest way to do that, it's to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. That's right. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more importantly, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Just let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead. Send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside, inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in the Tiger's Den, like Peter did. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Magical Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow off 44 points. S&P is flat. NASDAQ is basically flat. Russell 2000 is off six points. Semis are flat. New York Stock Exchange, basically flat, as is the Wilshire. Trannies are up 11 points. We'll call that pretty much flat. Spot volatility index is not flat. It's up 72 pennies, trading up 6%. 1281 is the print. Gold is flat. It's up a buck. Silver is flat. It's up a penny. Lightsweet crude is not flat. It's up a buck eighty. Let's start by taking a look at Lightsweet crude, figuring out what it is doing. Now, for all intents and purposes, we take a look at the daily time frame chart out here. One of the things we're going to see is Lightsweet crude is beginning to move higher, doing less relative energy. That alone is just a warning signal, not a shout shot across the bow. So it just says, hey, we've got to be careful and watch to see if there is some type of sell-off. And when I mean by sell-off, I mean some type of bearish reversal candle that would form. It's not going to happen today, but we would look till tomorrow and the following days. Otherwise, price continue moving higher. To where? About 68 bucks. It's really, this is the resistance line. Next resistance line, or a resistance line. That's a trading session. That's the high from October 30th. The exact number there was 6808. You're at 6585 right now. So 6808 is one of the price targets for Light Sweet Crew that was looking at the daily time frame chart. But wait, we've got more. If we go take a look at the uh, profiles out here, and by doing that, we're going to look at, as soon as I can find them, where did you go? We're going to look at daily, weekly, monthly. Why is the daily off there? Must have turned that off accidentally. Let me go take a quick peek here because what we, no, I didn't. That's yeah, weird sometimes. Well, uh, here's what I know about the, well, I'll come back and I'll show you a chart that I think's got the daily on it. Here's what we know about the daily, the weekly, and the quarterly time frame. Now, we're looking at Stevie's synthetic version, composite version of the uh, LightSuite crude. So I've got an update in order to be able to provide you with these profile levels. Uh, the daily is, is not cooperating. But we can see that price well above a weekly top of the profile, 57.80. So that says no resistance. The monthly, that's the lower left out here. What you can see is price is moving into one possible resistance level, and that is the center line of its profile. The center line is 66.16. Um, we're trading right now at 65.72. So we'll watch that area. It's a bearish structured box, meaning that the uh, center line where price is trading into is closer to the top. So the question is, is real resistance 69.66 out here? 
it would appear to be that way as I look at it. The quarterly time frame chart says that price can actually get up to $83.30 out there. So one step at a time. What do we know right now? We know that the daily, even though it's not shown here, is trading above the top of its box. I'm going to try to dig that out for you. It's trading above the top of the weekly. It's trading with inside the monthly as well as inside the quarterly which suggests from a profile standpoint of price can clear 6616, 6966 is the next target out there for it. If I come here and take a look at the daily, there we go. We've got a daily profile out here. Now, what this shows us, this is using the actual, so the contracts that we were just looking at, my synthetic, it's going to have different profile levels uh, than the current contract out here. And what we can see is that price, one of the price targets that we were looking for was, uh, which is now exceeded, so that's a, a bullish sign, 65.40. Now, I don't know where price is going to close today, 65.74 where it's trading. If it closes below 65.40 uh, out there, well, then what you'll know is resistance is held. The top of the daily was 64.79. So everything still at this stage here looks bullish for Light Sweet Crew. When I say that, looks like it's going to continue to move higher. We take a look at the multiple different tools and time frames out there uh, for Light Sweet Crude. So I hope that helps you out. Our first request came in. This was uh, earlier. Uh, this was uh, from uh, Sat is the uh, name so, and uh and the question is can we take a look at amazon which we can a m z and the question was suggest a stop loss and resistance levels out here so when we take a look at amazon a m z and let's go ahead and punch that up here and if we take a look at profile so a support level inside Amazon would be the t bottom of the daily profile. That's 18, 18, 87. It's trading above the top of its box, so bullish in nature. It is uh, as well as above the top of the weekly box. And it's the monthly profile that says that monthly and quarterly says a, pr a price should target 1910 to 1920. That's the top of those two boxes out there. If I pull over, now with regard to stop, you know, I don't know where you're in on the trade out here. Uh, you would likely uh, retracements uh, pulling back to 181887. The bottom of its box would still be bullish. If you're wondering what the average daily uh, uh, range is on this stock, it's 2386. And that says that your stop should be 2386 times a multiplier of either 1.272 or 1.618. That would be your stop that you would put on there. So I don't know what those total. But that's what you would look at if we look at Stevie's other charts where we can identify tops and bottoms inside of Amazon. We can see price movement higher doing less relative energy. Again, uh, there's nothing that is bearish here that shows up uh, or nothing that indicates a turn is imminent inside of Amazon. So I say stay with that trade based on these charts that we just looked at. Netflix, if we just begin by taking a look at this uh, chart out here, um, if price inside of uh, Netflix is able to clear the high on April 4th, that number is 372.05. That says the resumption to a move higher would be underway. The real key level of resistance here is the March 21st high. That's 379. That's even Steven out here. That was Netflix real quickly. See if we can do this before the like NFLX, before the breakout here. Where's support? 358.01. On the daily, 366.20. On the weekly, and you'd sure like to see this close above 374.24. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, Michael P. writes in, he'd like to take a look at, uh, Michael P. from Nashua, he writes in, he'd like to take a look at the uh, mining sector, the GDX specifically. So we're going to do that. And the first charts that we put up on our screen are going to be our typical uh, three time frame, uh, three time frame uh, TAS market profile chart. So you've got the uh, daily in the left, you've got the weekly in the center, and then you have the monthly with both monthly and quarterly profile levels on it, uh, Michael, in the uh, right-hand side. So what we can see here is that the uh, GDX is trading below a prior swing point. That prior swing point, and I'm looking on the left-hand side, was from March the 4th. There was 55 million shares 8.4 million shares as we speak today. We closed below that on Thursday with 43 million shares. So still a light volume, even lighter volume today out here. You know, what you're looking for, because what Michael wants to do is he wants to, um, he'd like to buy NUGT. So I'm going to suggest at this stage here is be patient. Um, there is, let's say, an A to B equals CD pattern that is in formation out here. Uh, this is the one that I'm looking at and looks like this with the next price target being 2091. That would be your 1.272 A to B equals CD. Even though the B point was passed with lighter volume, nonetheless, you're trading below that, which is 2179. Now you've got to wait for the bulls. My opinion is you need to wait for a bullish reversal candle to form to let you know that uh, price is uh, done moving lower uh, the weekly if I didn't mention this the bottom of the weekly box out there is 2057 so that becomes another potential price target in 2029 is the top of the monthly profile out there that's what the profiles say to you and I now Michael uh, going off the ranch here and just taking a look at the XAU versus the GDX slightly different um, look to it not from the A to B equals CD standpoint, but I'm going to show you, you can see that out here, uh, or you should be able to. Uh, what you'll notice is that today, from a daily chart standpoint, today looks like it's going to be day eight of a potential TD setup nine count out here. That says that a bottom for you could arrive uh, tomorrow or could arrive on Wednesday. So what I would be looking for is the bullish reversal signal inside either the XAU or the GDX out there to give you that signal that uh, it's worth taking a stab at going long the uh, GDX. Now, 
you had mentioned gold, and since Peter had mentioned gold too, we should also go ahead and take a look at gold. So as we do that, give me a moment here. I want to switch to some other charts. We're going to come up here and put up the uh, gold contract as well. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull gold over here, my Ninja Trader charts, and what we'll see is that today looks like it may turn out to be day number seven of its uh, TD setup nine count. That would suggest uh, a bottom could form on day eight, nine, or 10 in this case out here. Um, so that is a possibility. Uh, with the gold country, you'd like to see both of these bottom at the same time. Uh, gold has an A to B equal CD to the downside of 1261 until we see some type of bullish reversal signal on that daily time frame chart. We do not have that as we speak right now. So I think I would be lining these up, both having an A to B equal CD to the downside. And if we take a look at the gold, now the, the positive or slight positive inside of gold, Peter out here, as well as for uh, Michael, is that we have a brand new profile that is attempting to form. Now, I say attempting to form because you'll notice as you look at the symbol uh, open my upper left-hand corner that this, too, is my synthetic version of the contract and another tool out here that allows us to see a potential early uh, market profile that would be forming out here. So, Michael, what you'd also be looking for, let's assume that this actually confirms. We won't know that till tomorrow. But right now, you've got a bullish structured box inside of the gold contract with 1274.50 as support. Uh, 1278.50 happens to be the point of control. The top of the box out here is 1286.60. So, if you were to see price close below 1274.50, 50, even though there's that potential for that Tommy to Mark setup to occur over the next couple of trading sessions out here, you know, we'd, we'd, we'd certainly want to see some type of confirmation that the uh, bottom is in. You'd always like to see some type of confirmation. So at this stage, gold hasn't moved much. And you're right, the GDX has moved more than uh, gold out here. You're looking for gold to be able to hold support, 1274.50 out there. Peter, I, I hope that helps you out with regard to what you were looking at as well. Uh, although you did ask for the 120-minute, no, that was Jay, one of the 120-minute time frame out there. So, uh, uh, but, but, but Peter, Michael, if I didn't answer your question, just write back in. Uh, and uh, we'll go through and take a look at that. So, Michael, I think you're on the right track. Let's just wait to see if we can get some type of bottom signals in the XAU, the GDX, and the uh, gold contract out there. So thanks for writing in. The request inside the uh, Tiger's Den was to take a look at... Uh, the futures contract, this is one of the things that Peter, uh, Jay was looking for, somebody was looking for it. Uh, and, and and so let's go take, let me put the ES mini back up here. One question was the two hour time frame chart and take a look at where the TAS market profiles were. So here's your two hour time frame chart uh, for gold. You can see declining tops, but you'll also notice that price is above the top of that two hour time frame chart. Uh, 2906.75 out there. So there's your uh, profiles. Price is above the top of that. When it comes to the daily time frame out here, that is not the case. Uh, what the daily is doing is it is running into resistance. The high so far today, 2915.75, that took place last night. The top of the daily box out there, 29.18. And uh, three, we'll call it three today. We'll just call it 29.19. 28, wait. 20, yeah, 29.19, that would be the level. So we're just trading in a consolidation, nothing bad here, uh, nothing bad whatsoever. Only time, Jay, Peter, anybody else out there uh, where it would be bad, what do I mean by bad? I mean that there would be a change in trend signal would be a close below the bottom of that daily profile, 28.81. That's the real key number to be taking a look at. Mr. Bill said that's not gold. Oh, that was the ES Mini that we were looking at with regard to the 120-minute time frame chart, which I believe is what Jay was looking for. But uh, you guys let me know. Gals, guys, if you need something, uh, just tell me, and I'll uh, I'll go ahead and uh, you know get it on the screen for you. Um, you know, as as much as I can. So there is the there's the ES Mini. 
out here right now. If I look at the other chart out here for the ES Mini, the ES Mini has a topping signal out here, several topping signals. Wave number seven, that's letter number G, price movement higher, doing less route of energy. Those are the black diagonal lines happen to be coinciding with uh, wave number seven or letter G, and that was a key reversal session. You got an A to B equals CD. 2929 was its price projection. <clears throat> Didn't make it up there. That's a guideline. Today, <clears throat> doji candle. Doji candles, excuse me, don't mean to chew with ice in my mouth. Just happened to slip in there. Uh, but today, right now, I don't know if it's going to be doji candle or not, guys, gals. But it is right now. I mean, the open of uh, the uh, futures market yesterday at 6 o'clock is we're trading right at it right now. But doji candles up at resistance. We're definitely at resistance. And a market is tired out here. El Tayardo. Yeah, that's a, that was terrible. It's tired. It's tired. But it hasn't broken down. That's the key. Pulling back to 2881 would be nothing more than a test of support. Steve Rhodes with TFN. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, Dow's off 47. S&P is uh, flat. Uh, NASDAQ is up uh, nine points out there. So a uh, couple of uh, comments or questions uh, inside the uh, Tiger's Den, a request, I should say. 
So uh, first, let's go take a look at the advanced decline levels on the uh, New York Stock Exchange. What you're going to see, Peter, is that they continue to trade below zero, indicating that it is... Uh, here we go, indicating that it is sellers that are still in control of the market. And what Peter's referring to is the center panel on the screen out here. And you'll see a red line at the center panel. You'll see the blue line that happens to represent right now what that advanced decline uh, oscillator line is, difference between the advanced declining issues, the 19 and 39 day exponential moving average of the advanced decline issues out there. Uh, when it's below zero, it says that buyers or sellers are the ones that are in control oversold readings on this or when you get down to minus 150 that's why i've got a yellow line there and i've also got one at minus 250 but it's usually at minus 150 where you would see um the end of selling come in but uh, let's not get too caught up there peter was just requesting the information you're not seeing much of a sell-off inside the new york stock exchange if we look for topping patterns peter inside the new york stock exchange let's go switch over to take a look at the cash indice let me pull that chart out here just to see if we've got some type of uh, uniform message. We don't uh, really, uh, just this little sideways-ish move. So for sellers having control of the uh, general market, the New York Stock Exchange, really not doing too much. Nothing to be frightened of uh, there. Not that there couldn't be more of a retracement, but at this stage here, Nothing of major importance. And then to add to the nothing of major importance, even though the spot volatility index is trading up, as you and I looked at, maybe about 6% or so, still well below its 50-day exponential moving average line, which is 1452. Wouldn't be until, Peter, you had the combination of both, which would be um, both the uh, advanced decline oscillator being below zero and the spot volatility index being above its 50-day expense moving average where you, things that rodeo could get really wild to the downside from a price standpoint um yeah it, the you know the peter's asking the questioner pointing out well could it be at a minus 150 while the mark market is still relatively flat so here's where we have the difference between price action and just simply advancing and declining issues. It's sort of in the center of my screen out here. You'll see dollar ad sign. You'll see NYSE advance minus decline. So there's your net declining issues today, minus 682. Below that, net advancing issues are 1090. Net declining issues, 1773 out here. So, yeah, it's, it's most certainly possible uh, for the market to, to do that. It's why... Uh, both you and I, you know, here, so you can also get the market while the advanced decline oscillator, let me just see if we can, so here's an example, Peter, uh, and I'm going to take you back to, let me just kind of slide this over just a tad, oh, I guess I can't, there we go, oh, I just screwed up my line, but that's all right. I can fix that later. Uh, see here on the trading session of September 7th. September 7th, the actual closing read was minus 136.22. And if you look up here at the, uh, you know, there was your there was your typical turn as you get down to the minus 150 level, and there wasn't really a substantial decline uh, into September uh, 7th out here. So yeah, definitely. Uh, doable, possible, and, you know, one of the things that we'll continue to watch for inside the New York Stock Exchange. Likewise, you know, if that got above the uh, spot, the 50-day expense moving average out there, um, you know, that would be, uh, then we'd start seeing some fireworks to the downside. But by fireworks to the downside, um, and go back to the ES Mini out here, you've really got to see uh, price breakthrough support. And that's, I suppose, the coolest thing, if we're going to call something cool, the coolest thing about, you know, the trend is your friend uh, language out there. What, what does Sam heck does that mean? Well, when we use these market profiles out here, I will tell you what it means. If we look at coming off the low from December 26, what you will not see out here is you will not see a close below the bottom of one of those boxes. This trading day, by the way, on March 11th was a brand new new profile that formed out there, and it closed right above the bottom of that profile. We saw several tests back here in the end of March. Uh, there was nothing more than a test of support. So although it doesn't give you a guarantee of a change in trend, 
um, it would be the first signal. Now, what do I mean? You can start to move sideways um, as we were able to do. You know, look, here, here's the deal back in October, October 4th, 5th. Remember, the high came in on the 3rd, but it was October the 9th when price closed below the bottom of that profile, suggesting a change in trend. Well, certainly it was. There was a period of consolidation. You can see it in here, and that's where the profiles became useful, uh, but not um, um, not the only thing that one would have wanted to trade off of. But here, clear trend that's in place. And um, like I said, we got a nice topping signal out here. The trading session of April 17th, when we had that key reversal session, this is inside the ES Mini. But price has got to close. It would be a, a, a normal, we, we, we discussed the market was tired. Of course, I was looking at a doji candle. That may not be a doji by day's end, but that's what we're looking at as we speak here right now. Um, and uh, but you still got to close below. It's got to close below that 2881 level out there, in my opinion, in order to give you some type of change in the trend signal out there. So uh, I, hopefully I've, I've taken care of your request to take a look at the advanced decline data as well as the ES trying to put all that information together. Now, Jay mentioned, and rightfully so, that the Russell 2000 looks weak. Now, when I take a look at the Russell 2000, uh, here's one of the things that I see out here, Jay. I just see your standard, basic, garden variety consolidation that's going on. And uh, kind of this uh, black, rectangle-ish type box out here. So is it as powerful as the uh, S&P, the Dow, or the NDX 100 or composite or semis? The answer is no. Um, but really not too shabby, so to speak, out here. Weaker than the others? Absolutely. But uh, let's just not lose sight of the fact that it's really trading within inside of consolidation, the bottom of which is around the 1,500-ish type area out there. Um, yes, well off of its all-time highs, no doubt about that. But, you know, if we take a look at the weekly time frame chart out here, so let's do that. And so the weekly time frame chart when it formed its high, it did so on count number eight of that TD setup nine count. So that was to be expected and anticipated. What happened was, is price then, uh, when it gave that signal, price then went down to test support. What was support? Well, in a weekly time frame, it was Stevie's red line, currently priced at 1538.90. So, and that was a, a nice test. And so, um, you know, we're, yes, well off of its highs. But I would say the concern inside the NQJ would be if price were to close below 1539 on a weekly basis out here. So weaker than the others, yes. So ugly that it's like a uh, it's a no-brainer to the downside. Mm, I don't know about that. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. That's one way to get in touch with me. Would love to hear from you. You can always send me an email as well, Steve at tfnn dot com. Uh, if you happen to send those in and we don't get to them before the show, I'm going to go ahead and fill in for Tom from three to four today. So uh, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and take a look at your instrument uh, during that time frame. Uh, if we aren't able to uh, get to it uh, during this time frame, so no, nothing in the queue. As we speak right now, no requests. I think I've gotten to everything out here. So uh, what should we do? What should we look at next out here? Why don't we just go take a look at some um, individual equities. Let's see what they're doing to the downside as an example. So intuitive surgical. Let's go take a look at its three time frames. ISRG. It's a dollar leader to the uh, downside. ISRG. If I can type that in, then uh, everything will be good. So intuitive surgical gap down today, terrible Thursday, big wide ranging bar, accelerating volume. You've got uh, accelerated uh, volume uh, today as well. Uh, if we try to identify support levels out here, it gets us back to 468.59. That's the monthly center of its profile and 431.08. Uh, that is the bottom of the monthly profile. So that appears to be where intuitive surgical is headed towards there is no a to b equals cd to the downside it's trading into the to a recent sign of strength so to speak that took place on january 9th on january 9th there was wide price spread and accelerated volume the accelerated volume was 1.4 million shares today you're pulling back with 2.8 million shares the support level there would have been 493 you're at 492 that's the bottom of that candle session the bottom of that gap so the real support level you'd really say is these three lines out there those would be pulling back to support if it were to do so on lighter volume well intuitive surgical is not doing that by the way those levels would be 493 97 maybe that holds at day's end i don't know 485 59 that's pretty close to the low of the session and 446 46 in essence where the breakout really began and that is on in uh, i'm sorry intuitive surgical also moving to the uh, downside you've got granger ww gww oops gww is the uh, ticker symbol let's go take a look at it see if there's anything there that pops up to us it's below daily that's uh, today it is uh looks like it wants to pull back well, a close below 288.07 would suggest to you and I that 277.07 becomes the uh, target. That was Granger Worldwide. Also moving to the downside is Tesla. Let's go take a look at Tesla. 
T-S-L-A is the uh, ticker symbol out here. Uh, pulling back today towards support, 261.01. That's the bullish structured profile in a weekly time frame. Let's go ahead and expand that out. Below that will be 244.59. That's the weekly uh, profile, not the weekly profile, that is the weekly low, uh, really part of the consolidation here as of recent. Now, when I say as of recent, I'm really going back to April of 2018. So really for a year, we've seen a consolidation. Now, there was 87 million shares at that low. Last week was 28 million. So price pulling back from a weekly perspective into support. Again, 261.01. Really, I'd have to say 244.59. That would be your range inside of uh, Tesla out there. Uh, what else do we have moving? Uh, Dillard's DDS is the uh, ticker symbol. Let's go check on it, see where it is headed to. Uh, that's having a really bad day with volume to the downside out here. Profile-wise, 65, 64 to 58, 21 is the number. But let's put the daily time frame chart. This too, pulling back to a huge sign of strength, the huge sign of strength coming in on the trading session of uh, February 26th. Wide price spread and volume accelerated, 3.7 million shares. Today you're pulling back with 491,000 shares. Nonetheless, um, the level of support, the breakout began, I'd say at 65.09. So it would look to me like that is at least where price is targeted. 65.09, that's looking at the daily time frame chart out there. 65.64 is the bottom, uh, I'm sorry, is the center of that weekly profile. So below that 65.09 level on a closing base, we'd say 58.21 would be where ticker symbol DDS, that is uh, Dillard's would be headed to. Now, we covered Amazon and Netflix, those two stocks moving to the upside. Let's take a look at uh, TTD. That is the trade desk out there, TTD. Let's go see what it is doing. So having a nice day, the volume behind the move so far, about 1.1 million shares out here. The nice thing is it's trading above daily, weekly, monthly profiles out here. Let's see what it's doing on a daily basis. As it comes into its most recent swing point, that was its all, well, it's 52-week high. That was March the 21st. The volume out there was 1.1 million shares. You're already 1.1. So price is moving into a prior swing point, doing it with volume. Price should at least test 214.48 out there. And that is on the trade desk not to be confused with a trade desk out there but that is for the trade desk also moving to the upside you got metadata solutions that is mdso if we take a look at mdso get a figure for feel for where this is headed to profile wise well above the uh, daily well above the weekly and now above the monthly the month has not come to an end but it closed above 85.94 is a uh, break now i can see the three drive potential three drive to a top pattern out here let's look at it on a daily time frame and go figure out what's going on now what price is doing trading above well i take that out trying to trade above a swing point that took us back to the time period of july 23rd now was at 88 87 the volume there a million shares you're already at five million shares whoops price should at least retest if it closes below 88 87 a rejection on price, but not a rejection on volume. And price ought to get back up there to at least test that 88, 87 level. Actually, the three drive pattern, much easier to see. Yeah, it's not much of a three drive pattern out there. There really isn't. It, it's, well, this one, July of 2017. Is that where this took me back to? That July? Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. So I don't see a top out here as we speak right now. Let me just put this. This is MDSO. Let me put this over on my other chart to see if there's anything that pops up. Uh, TD setup count, something along those lines, price moving higher. Nope, I don't see really anything out here uh, to suggest that uh, the move higher is over inside the metadata, metadata solutions. Uh, JB, if we have time, can I show the gold contract? I can. Um, uh, you know, here it is. Uh, here's the uh, June contract for uh, gold. Uh, again, uh, JB, and we, we discussed this a little bit earlier. There is an A to B equals CD to the downside. Uh, that could take price down to 1262, even 1243. If that's going to happen, 
then what price is going to do is price is going to go ahead and uh, close below its brand new daily profile that uh, just came into formation or is trying to form today. And JB, that number to be watching would be 1277.20. 1277.20, that's the number. We're trading at 12.7760, 40 cents. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. It was actually uh, it was actually a canopy growth that um, JB wanted us to take a look at. So my apology there. So JB, first, right off the bat, one of the things that we can see is that on Thursday in on Thursdays. Thursday's trading action, uh, canopy growth, a gap to the upside, and closed above the top of a daily profile out there, 43.72. So the retracement may be over in it um, with, uh, with price being above the top of that profile out here. Um, and we can see that the tops of the boxes, in essence, uh, have held as a resistance uh, zone out here, you know, ever since really the uh, end of uh, February. So that looks pretty good. Uh, and he had a sign of strength, that gap to the upside, uh, 7.4 million shares out there. Uh, the weekly is above the top of its uh, profile as well. So that's pretty good. And the weekly right now, as we speak, is above Stevie's green line. That's 46.43. From a weekly perspective, 
If you get a close above the trading session of the week of March 22nd, that price point is 48.60. What it does is it improves the odds that price is going to get back to its all-time high, that solid green line that created that TD setup uh, trend line. Now, you'll have to watch this little uh, bearish engulfing session key reversal from the week of February 8th. So that would be 51.81. So there is still some areas of resistance that canopy growth is going to have to get through out here. Uh, do we see anything major? Not really. Um, so I uh, hope that helps and sorry about that. Real quickly here, there was a request to take a look at NOVT. So NOVT, the ticker symbol, uh, is for Novanta. And the question was, hey, where can I get in on this? You're going to need to wait until 82.39 at least. That is the bottom of its daily profile. You're trading below the center line at 85.40. That suggests a pullback, a concern there. Oh, shoot, I didn't get it out here. NOVT, NOVT. And we're done. When I say we're done, we're out of time out here. Uh, be patient on this one, 82.30. And the reason why I say patient, gave you a pretty decent topping signal out here a couple of days ago. So let's watch that before you step in at 82.39. Folks, thanks so much for, for being here. Stay tuned. David White's up next. I'll be back with you from 3 to 4. Have a uh, magnificent Monday. I don't see you soon.